Hi, this is Gary, and today's mini lecture, as you can see from the screen, is called Types of Stages. And today we're going to take a look at three different kinds of stages, the proscenium stage, the thrust stage, and the arena stage. The characteristics that we're using to define the differences between these stages are simply one, where the audience sits, and two, where the actors and uh, where the actors perform and where the scenery is located. So in each of these three uh, little diagrams, you see straight lines here, 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 and here. And those lines refer to the area where the audience will sit, and the shaded areas here, the blue in the thrust, the green in the proscenium, and the red in the arena refer to the places where uh, the action of the play actually takes place. First we'll take a look at the proscenium stage and as you see in the box below the proscenium stage is the traditional picture box stage similar to what you find in a movie theater or if you've ever been in the Shaw Center Auditorium or in the MSC Main Room. Those are pretty traditional proscenium style theaters. The entire audience sits in front of the stage, so here uh, this is the audience area and they're looking into uh, this area where the stage action takes place. This stage resembles in a sense a room with one of its walls removed. We'll talk more about that in class. When we talk about the thrust stage, we're, we're referring to a stage in which the audience sits on three sides of the stage. So here you, you would see this is the stage area and the audience would be here, here, and here. You'll see on the box below, on a thrust stage, the audience sits on three sides of the stage. The size and the shape of the thrust, or the thrust stage, will vary from theater to theater. Shakespeare's plays, when produced outdoors in theaters like the Globe, were produced on a thrust stage, and simply called a thrust stage because, in a sense, the stage thrusts out directly into the area of the audience. The third and final kind of stage that we're going to take a look at is called the arena stage. Uh, this is also sometimes referred to as theater in the round. As you can see, the audience sits on all four sides of the theater. So in here we have, we would have the audience here, 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 and here. The stage itself may be round, square, or rectangular. I put it rectangular here, but it doesn't have to be. And, and the audience area itself may be more of a circular shape than a, uh, that really just depends on the shape of the room. Uh, as I said, sometimes this arrangement is referred to as theater in the round. So. Here are some thought questions for you, and these are the things we'll certainly talk about in class. If you take a look at the three different kinds of stages, the proscenium, the thrust, and the arena, which stage do you think provides a more unified field of vision? And what I mean by that is which of the three stages would you use if you wanted the audience to all see pretty much the same thing regardless of where they were sitting? Which of the three stages do you think puts a greater emphasis on scenery and special effects, or which has the potential to put a greater emphasis on scenery and special effects? Which of the three theaters might seem to be the more intimate of the three? And the, these aren't absolute, uh, the, there aren't absolutely correct or incorrect answers, but I'd just like to get your thinking on some of these things. Uh, which of these theaters would seem to you the most traditional? Which might seem the most experimental? Which might put a greater focus on the actors or on the costuming? Uh, and, and I guess I'd also ask you to think of any advantages or disadvantages that you can think of uh, for each of the three stages. So, three kinds of stages, proscenium, thrust, arena. It's based on the relationship, the spatial relationship between the audience and the stage area itself. And I'll look forward to talking with you about this in class. So thank you very much, and we'll see you soon.